Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey. So today is Tobacco Tasters Day and we are sampling uh, something that only comes out uh, every year or two times a year. Uh, and it's a, one of the favorites of this, uh, this company. Mm -hmm. Watch City Cigar Rhythm and Blues. Uh, basically, this is their Simply Red um, recipe that they add a few other things mm -hmm. to it. Some Red Virginia and some Black Stove Virginia, um, you know, uh, to that Simply Red to make this blend. Uh, this is a uh, course blended by Ernie Q and I'm I'm pretty sure I talked to the guys at Watch City and They said that they do source their tobaccos from Sutliff. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a Virginia Perique uh, It's a ribbon cut. It's bulk blend when you can get it um, The strength on this is a moderate to medium. There's no flavoring added uh, and the uh, taste on this is a medium. So let's jump into this one, Nathan. Don't forget, guys, to add your comments below the video so that you can share your info along with what we are talking about so other folks can benefit from that. Mm. All right. So to me, this is the perfect fall smoke. <coughs> uh, I really enjoy this smoke. More in the fall than mm -hmm. any other time mm -hmm. of the year. I can see that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the tin note on that. All right. Mmm. So that tin note, the Red Virginia's tankiness comes through. Um, I have been smoking pretty consistently at least a two-ounce bag. I have a two-ounce bag of that Simply Red from Watch City. Right. And I have been smoking Which is the base for this. And I've been smoking it consistently as a all day kind of smoke while I'm at work and doing stuff and, and uh, tried it in different pipes and things like that. And yeah, I can smell it in here. It's such a good, simple based Red Virginia. Um, I would be willing to bet, yeah, it's got a Sutliff kind of hit to it. So yeah, them sourcing their stuff from there makes, makes me kind of reminiscent of it. Uh, but then there's that kind of raisiny smell that I get from the Pariks. A, a slight earthiness from, I guess, maybe the mixtures of their dark Virginias and red Virginias. And a uh, mm. little bit of a tanginess from those black stove Virginias. That tart and tangy scent yeah. is, is there for sure. There's a sweet background. There's a nice musty smell mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. that's in there as well. Earthy, com probably coming from the Perique that's in there. Um, you know, you really get a sense of some good tobacco scents in here. Um, I get a little tangy citrus. Yeah, there's that vinegar bit. hit yeah, still in that, there. That's that's the vinegar hit right there is what makes me go every time. Okay, this is gonna be a good smoke for me because I just love that so much. Those Red Virginias are just, they always call to me in a blend when I can pick them out. Yeah, this, this has everything that you would expect from a Virginia Perique based on on Red Virginias. Mm -hmm. This has those scents yeah. in it. And it's it's not overpowering. Mm -mm. And it's it's very, very well balanced. I, I like this, the, the smells that are coming from this. I do too. Yeah. I do too. They they seem to meld very well too. So that is one thing. You know, sometimes your vapor blends will have your Virginia shine more. Your Periques, you get that pepperiness kind of coming through, uh, and the smell. Some of those fruity scents from the Periques. Yeah. But this one, this one melds really well. It comes through as a good picture. All right. Well, what are you tasting? Hmm. So. I would say this is where the Red Virginias, they don't leave me, but having known exactly what, I know exactly how that Simply Red tastes, uh, I get a lot more fun with this blend, a lot more flavors going in, and this is where I can really, really agree with you on, this would probably be a lot better to enjoy during that fall time. Yeah. Uh, I get, uh, you know, your fruity blends, some light, a little bit of breadiness. In the taste coming through the tangy red Virginia flavors that just they they kind of coast and then that's it. So they're not they're not very forward they're not very strong but they're present on the inhale on the exhale you know I I'm 
getting a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really enjoying the in and out of this blend. So I get... What hits me the most is a very earthy, woody type of taste, mm-hmm. like a a campfire kind mm. of kind yeah. of thing going on, um, and then everything else behind it kind of plays a little bit in and out, in and out, in and out. But the base of it is just a really full, woody kind of smoke going on with this. Every now and then, I get that breadiness and this little bit of sweetness yeah. and a little bit of citrus. Um, I get that dark fruit taste from the from the um, uh, Perique. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a plummy apricot, yeah, kind of kind of taste going on here. A um, little bit of spice. It's not real spicy. Yeah. A little bit of the vinegar, that tart kind of taste in there. Uh, but for the most part, man, it, it's just a. Uh, a really woody kind of smoke for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I mean, I will say that I am so partial to those Red Virginia flavors that... I'm I'm smoking more Reds than I've ever smoked before. Yeah. I am getting it. I'm getting it in the blend. And, like, because I keep taking puffs from it, and I keep going. It keeps causing my mouth to water. That tanginess. Yeah, right getting back it in the corners. Right there. And that's what I'm after every time I smoke. I want that feeling. Uh, I'm salivating. I'm, you know, I'm excited about continuing to keep smoking. I think that's probably why I smoke so much and smoke so fast. Is because I go for blends that keep me, keep me going. Keep me going. Yeah. And I feel it inside of this one. Yeah, the flavors are not... <sighs> that woody flavor, to me, is a strong, full flavor. Everything else is pretty moderate back yeah, there. Yeah. So if you like something that's got lots of earthiness to it, this is this this really feels like an outside smoke to me. Yeah. Like I bet I bet if we if the weather was a, uh, I mean it's getting cooler. Mm, but if not, it was not even, enough, <laughs> if it was even cooler than what it is now, this is something I'm sitting outside and I'm probably grabbing and smoking all day. Yeah. So what are you getting on the room note on this? Mm. It's a little heavier than your typical room note. Uh, heavier than most of the reds I've smoked. Yes, yes. For it to be classified as a vapor or a Virginia type blend, this one has a little bit more mustiness to it. You know, it's it's got it's got a little bit of a leave behind when it comes to the scent. So I would say it's more on the tolerable side than pleasant. You know, uh, they when everybody talks about campfire smells, mm-hmm. they always refer to that smokiness. But the smokiness is not necessarily what I'm getting on this. Yeah, one. It, it's you know it's kind of a burnt wood thing. Yeah. But being it smoky is not really what I'm getting. It's almost like after the campfire has died down. Yes. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah, where it's it's just coals. Yes. There's no more smoke. You just get that that smell of just That's what I'm getting. Yeah, burning. Yeah. And it's I wouldn't say it's pleasant. Uh I would say that it's agreeable to maybe tolerable. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, what about the moisture on this? Mm. So I've had to have one relight while we're smoking. I don't think it's a moisture issue, however. I think because there are certain, like the red leaves, the red Virginias in this are long cut ribbon. And then you're, you can, I can tell your peri- The black Cavendish is chunky. Yes. And that's, and that's, that's what I was going to say. There's some chunky bits in this that, that helps need a little more down. heat yeah. to bring it up. But moisture wise... It was ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah, it was this spot thing, on. Like, I haven't bought a Watch City blend or smoked a Watch City blend that couldn't just be right out of the pouch. Even their flakes yeah. and their crumble cakes. Right out of the pouch. They're yeah. ready to go. They're, They're ready, ready to, to go. go. All right, what do you think about nicotine? Uh, this is this will satisfy you. I'm not going to say it's like a medium. Uh, this this would be that weird category right before you get to medium, where it's, it's, it's strong. It will satisfy your nicotine hit. Smoke your bowl, 
move on, but about a moderate plus. And for me, probably a little, yeah, plus. A yeah. little more than that. Closer to the medium mm-hmm. uh, level. Yeah, it, but it's not bad. Mm-mm. It's not bad at all. A um, couple of things about this I'm noticing. Um, I smoke hard, so I get just a little bit of a bite. A little bit of a bite. Um, but not much. Uh, it burns pretty consistent. It uh, burns evenly. Um, it burns at a moderate pace. Uh, there's a, 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 a decent aftertaste with this. I like the aftertaste. Uh, but it's not just... It doesn't hang there forever. It kind of goes away. A yep. uh, little bit of dampness in the bowl. I've, I bet I've smoked 100 bowls of this stuff. I... I yeah, I know this. Last I know too, this yeah. blend pretty well. Yeah, uh, like you said, average number of relights. Uh, f- a lot of folks think that this could be an all-day smoke. Not for me. Yeah, in the right environment. To me. Yeah, I would say maybe in the winter time or that's the, yeah. that's that's where I'm going because I, I tend to go to darker, smokier, um, heavier type blends. In the winter, and yeah, this this I could see it as an all day smoke. Then, you know, in the summertime, probably not, not yeah. something I'm grabbing. But the good thing about this is that the flavor is absolutely consistent all the way through. Yes, it smokes the same all the all way. The there's way no, through. there's not a lot of changing. Uh, you can only get this blend at WatchCityCigar.com. Uh, it's five ninety nine per ounce, and. As you order more in bulk, it yeah. gets a little bit cheaper. Um, but, like I said, it only comes out twice a year. So, if you missed it, next time you're probably going to see this is February. Yeah. Maybe March. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, uh, you will want to try some of this if you're a fan of Red Virginia's. Because this one, I and think... And if you're a fan of Watch City. I mean, they've got a couple other really good blends that... Oh, that... uh, they got a lot of great blends. Uh, I haven't even tried all of them yet. Um, but the ones that I have tried, I'm not real crazy about the Orientals that they put out. Yeah, but but their their Englishes are fantastic. Yeah, and their Virginias come through really yeah. well too. So anyway, well, that's kind of what I think about this yeah. one. You know, it's it's a solid smoke. It's, it it stands alone on you know on any other blend makers or big blend makers rather, you know. Uh, same playground with yeah. certain fields. I just think that this particular one has its match made more in the cooler times of the year. All right, guys. So a couple of things that are coming up that we're going to be doing. Um, we talked about last episode some of the some of the new tobaccos I've got that we're going to talk about. But also, we're going to do a deep dive in every McClelland grand oriental blend that mcclellan made so we're gonna really kind of break each because there's eight different uh blends Mm -hmm. in that grand oriental and a lot of folks are not really sure about what is what you know so i'm not convinced that that's one of their popular ones that they sell so uh when you go to pipe uh, shows and stuff like that and you see a bunch of these grand orientals on the table um, there's some of them that are diamonds and you're going to want to make sure you get those. Yeah. So we'll go deep into every single one of them and kind of describe what we're getting out of those so that you're a little more informed as you go to pipe shows and things like that. Especially and, since, you know, any McClellan blend is an investment, especially nowadays. Yeah. So with them still being out there and pipe smokers trading and purchasing from each other on their McClellan blends that they have. Yeah, this will be a good adventure to really help those guys that want to try a vintage smoke. Yeah. For a vintage price, but have a good direction. So the next Tobacco Tasters is at the end of October. And of course, at the end of October is also Halloween, right? Yep. So I thought maybe it'd be a good idea for you guys to send us some suggestions of some Halloween blends, whether it be a pumpkin blend or, oh, you know, boy. whatever. So something that you guys like, please send that to us so that on the next 
episode, we can announce which which one we're going to do for the tobacco taste. Yeah, let us know. Help us out with that, guys. All right, well, that's it for that's this it. week. Yeah. yeah. Guys, thank you very much for watching, as always. And don't forget, make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. Yeah, we'll Take care, guys. <laughs>